My name is Wendy Ann Forbes, and this presentation is based on my research on ethnomathematics. In my research, I propose that ethnomathematics be the foundation of rich mathematics task. You see, the fast-paced technological development of the 21st century mandates that students be creators of knowledge rather than consumers of knowledge. Thus, mathematics curriculums demand a student-centered approach rather than a teacher-centered approach. Mathematics educators, therefore, need to be creative since mathematics is a crucial part of 21st century's development. Ethnomathematics, incorporating students' cultural experiences can provide pedagogical practices to support mathematics teaching and learning. Ethnomathematics, generally speaking, is the relationship between mathematics and culture. Culture here refers to the identifiable group that people are a part of, which may include urban or rural community groups, social groups, and any other specific group that people are a part of. Ethnomathematics pedagogical practices incorporate diverse cultural practices into the teaching and learning of mathematics. And as a result, it is a non-threatening way to introduce students to the classroom because their culture normally is not threatening. It is something that they know. We sometimes forget that students come to the classroom with mathematics. The mathematics perspective of our experience of students is determined by the mental structures or frame they construct. They use these frames to negotiate new mathematical problems and situation. And as a result of that, educators, curriculum planners, and um, teachers can take advantage of that. In my research, I propose that ethnomathematics be the foundation of classroom practice. Sociocultural experiences scaffold classroom experiences so that the new mathematics that students are introduced to um, is non-threatening. Non For my research, I also unfold five components of meaningful mathematics. Meaningful mathematics provides opportunity opportunities for collaboration. It is personally relevant. It fosters deep connected understanding. Ethnomathematics practices enhance reasoning and it is engaging and inspiring. And ethnomathematics promotes meaningful learning for students as they can apply their knowledge directly to everyday lives. Ethnomathematics promotes deep connected understanding since pedagogical practices aim to incorporate each student's cultural experience. Ethnomathematics enhance reasoning. Mathematics reasoning is enhanced when tasks are open, having low floor high ceiling, meaning that all students have access to the task and the tasks provide appropriate means for challenge. So ethnomathematics is a plausible way to attract students to mathematics mathematical reasoning activities, right? Because culture is used and culture is often non-threatening. Collaborative skills are seen as critical in today's technological and scientific society. Ethnomathematics gives students the opportunity to foster collaboration with their peers, as well as ethnomathematics fosters deep relationship between students and teachers as teachers have the opportunity to learn about the background and culture, cultures represented in their classroom. Ethnomathematics, ethnomathematics can provide the avenue for engaging and inspiring mathematics. Students' engagement and inspiration are hinged on how successful teachers design their learning environment. And by this, I mean task, activities, direct instruction, hidden curriculum, and so forth. Cultural connected mathematics promote inspiring and engaging brain-based learning as new knowledge is mapped to previous knowledge. When new knowledge is mapped to previous knowledge, learning is not, the brain is not pressured or it is not, the brain, learning is not traumatic to students. So as a result of that, I propose that ethnomathematics be the foundation of classroom teaching. I propose that 
Ethno mathematics components be the foundation of rich mathematics task. Research suggests that mathematics tasks are critical learning resources that can help to deal with issues of diversity and inclusion and encourage all students to learn mathematics since tasks are conduit that mediate between teaching and learning of mathematics. A mathematical task refer to whatever a teacher uses to demonstrate mathematical concept, engage students in interaction, or request students to do something, such as homework, prob homework um, problem solving, classroom activity, any classroom activity. And um, mathematics task carefully orchestrated may spark students' curiosity and interest inform students of what it means to do mathematics and this shape and this can shape their mathematics identity and determine their fu future progress in math related pathways so as a result of that i propose that ethnomathematics be the foundation of rich mathematics tasks tasks that are inclusive open challenging but attainable learner centered and gender skills of mathematician, encourage collaboration, is authentic. Ethnomathematics can help to relieve students of the stress that they feel in the classroom. As, is, as a result, this is what I propose. I propose that ethnomathematics be the foundation of classroom teaching.